Let's look at question 23. The diagram shows the speed time graph of a car during a period of t seconds. So we have the graph. The question, find a acceleration of the car during the first 8 seconds, b distance covered in the first 14 seconds, c value of t if the average speed of the car is 7 meters per second. Again, there is a question that comes on time graph, you just need to see as many questions as possible, just look at the past 2 or 3 papers, you can, see the, you can find the videos on our YouTube channel or our app that I recommend that you download, you find a lot of content in that app. So let us start with question A. So question A, we are asked to find the acceleration of the car in the first 8 seconds, which is this period. So how do you find the acceleration? So acceleration is given by velocity which is final minus initial velocity over final time minus initial time. So what is the final velocity? At the end of 8 seconds the speed is 9. So we have 9 minus at the starting point is 0, 0 over the time, the time is starting from 0 to 8, so it will be 8 minus 0, so we end up with 9 over 8, which simplifies to 1, 1 over 8 meters per second square, or you can use the simplicity, but you can leave it in this form. Then once you do that, you are good to go, you get this one mark, because is slightly forward. Just watch out for the unit. Acceleration is meters per second square. B, distance covered in the first 14 seconds. So when you ask to find the distance, you just find the area under the curve. So in the first 14 seconds, we can divide this area into two parts, which will be A and this part, which we shall call B. So the area is equal to A plus B. That's the area in the first 14 seconds. So you know this is a rectangle, this is a triangle. So we find the area. So this one you see, multiply 9 and 8 by half, then the other one. So let us just find the answer to B. So area, distance, let me just use D since I'm speaking. So distance is equal to half times so it will be the area under this triangle, which will be 8 times 9. So it will be 8 times 9, then plus the area under this rectangle, which will be 9. 9 times the difference between these two. This is 9, then the difference between these two. So it will be. 9 multiplied by 14 minus 8, which will give me 4 times, because half times 8 is 4 times 9, then plus 9 times 14 minus 8 is 6. Okay, then I'm going to have 36 plus 9 times 6 is 54, which will give me 90. So it will be 90 meters. 90 meters. Then we we'll look at the last part of the question. Value of t if the average speed of the car is 70 meters per second. So how can we find the value of t? We use the fact that speed is equal to distance over time. So we need to find the function for speed, then solve for t. So we know the area from here to here, this is 90. Then to find the total distance, we need to find also the distance under this one in terms of t. Now we know that the shape forming area c, which we shall call c, this is a trapezium, where we have the, this is the height, then this is the shorter height, then we have this base. So this difference is 14 minus t, then we know this is 9, then this one goes up to 7, so this is 7. So, 
you can use the formula of a trapezium which is area is equal to half multiplied by a plus C, B, then multiply by height. So height in this case it will be this one. This will be the height. Then this is B, the longer, which is A. Then this will be the shorter, which will be B. So we need to find the C. Then you add it to this area to find the total area of the shape. So once you find the total area of the shape, which is equal to total distance. So this will be the distance. Then this will be the time. What is time? Time in this case is t because we're moving from here to t. So t will remain the same. Then we know what the value of s is. The value of s is in this one, 7 meters per second. Then you're looking for the exact value of t. So just find the value of the area under c using the trapezium formula. Once we do that, then we are going to add that one to the area that we found in B, which is 90. So it's important that you get 90 correct. If you don't get this question correct in B, then you waste a lot of time. So let us go. So we have uh, distance is equal to 90 plus C. What is C? So C is equal to half times. So half times, we have, like I said, we have 9 plus 7, then times four. It's t minus 14. Okay, not 14 minus t. It's t minus 14. So, what we do is, we come here, we say 9 plus 7, then multiply by t minus 14. Because t is greater than 14. Then, we are going to have, c is equal to, 9 plus 7 is 16, times half is 8. So, we're going to have 8 times t minus 14. So at this point is just now expanding. So we have 8 times t, which is 18. T, then minus. Then we have 14 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry 3. 8 times 1, 8 plus 3, which is 11. 112. So we have 112 there. Now this is the area under C. So what we need to do is to find D. D is equal to. 90, the one that you found in B, then plus 8t minus 112. Then this tells me 8t is equal to uh, 90 minus 112, it will give me negative 22. So this is distance. Now we know that speed is equal to d over t. Thus, so now what do we know? We know what this one is, you see, or this one that we found. We know what speed is, we've been given, though we're looking for t. So now let us solve for t. So, like I said, this is 7 meters per second. So let me just go to the new page. So, what we have is, we have now, speed, which is 7 meters per second. Then we have d, which is equal to 8t minus 22 then in this function speed is equal to distance over time we substitute we're going to have 7 is equal to 8t minus 22 over t then we cross multiply it will be 7t is equal to 8t minus 22 then we correct the like term to be 7t minus 8t. The one t, 8t closer is the equal sign, it becomes a negative. It's equal to negative 22. So from here, this one tells me that uh, negative t is equal to negative 22. I divide by negative 1, negative 1, and t is equal to 22. So t is 22 seconds because distance is me. The time is being measured in seconds. So this is how you answer this question to get the full marks. Then you are good to go. Then you leave out the exam celebrating. So this is where we've come to the end of looking at this paper. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel of called a dedicated deep playlist. You can easily also find these videos in our app that I encourage you to download because you find their quizzes, you find your past papers and the answers.